Howdy, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm your host, not the most iron mustache. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to get right back into it, Chernobylite Part 4. So if you'd be so kind and don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button right down below and get that bell icon. That way you're always notified of my video post at least once a day. In the meantime, sit back, relax, pop the corn, and let's get right into it. Chernobylite Part 4, and away we go. Alrighty, here we are once again in Chernobylite. And we're going to continue on here. We're going to continue on our little Chernobyl adventure, baby. Where do we leave off? I'm not really sure. So I did try making a video of this um, the other day and I messed up the audio recording. So, uh, yeah. We're just doing it again. Alright, there we go. Oh, look, the invisible ghost Igor. is back. Igor! I need you. I need you now. Tanya? Tanya? Meet me in the Pripyat residential area. Hey, doing? hello? Fuck! Is it Mikhail? Not really. You should have thought about this. Or it uh, could. Here. What the? F Who is this? Alright. <laughs> Why the? My name is Seth. Raised yeah. in the. Yeah, but besides. Alright. How do you know I'm. Please, let's get some. Well, let's say. Let's meet and find me on the roof. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Um, shall we be good? Can you see the smoke around the Duggar radar? I'm pretty sure that's your new best friend, Mikhail. Roger that, Rhino One. Proceed. Leave a Posing as the enemy. I know what I'm doing. All right. Uh, we're gonna have Clever. Scheme. Agreed. I discovered something could be related. Sounds like a my thoughts exactly. I know the plan. Yeah. I'll check it out. Just. Uh... All right. All right. Let's go on a mission. Let's see, uh, Mikhail in trouble. Food drop. Um. Let's do this one. Alright, and we're gonna do. He's gonna do a food drop. Alright, and start missions. Yep, start mission. Here we go. So it's Olivier will go on a food drop. I will do uh, this other mission that's going to get me to uh, more information about uh, Tatiana. It should be good. It should all be good. Awesome. Awesome blossom. All the awesome blossom. So many awesome awesome. Right, we need to go 180 some meters this way. What's in there? Nothing. Okay. Alright, hopefully there's no bad guys around here anywhere. I doubt it. But you know, there could be. Oh, what do we got here? Herbs. Herbs are good. Right, that's a spike in radiation. I don't deal with that shit right now. Oh jeez, okay. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh yikes, 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 yikes. This place is carbon radiation. Let's go here. Right, let me pull out my uh, handy dandy thingy here. Handy dandy. area. 
very residential. Pick up some parts here. Oh, lots of good things here. Stairs. Okay, perfect. Stairs might help a little bit. Get up from the couch and let's go for a walk, Igor. Oh, but it's so cold outside, and it's not even winter yet. Ah, oh, come on, Professor Kumunik. Exercise is good for you. <sighs> all right, all right. Don't sulk. I promise I'll knit you a warmer sweater. Really? I'll hold you to that, you know. Yeah, I would. Totally would. Like that door you can open. Not, not with the power I have. Alright, that's blocked off by all that stuff. Okay, good. Good to know. These stairs. I want to go upstairs. Let me go up those stairs again. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Where's my destination? Pripyat Secondary School number three, the biggest of the five. My friend Nadia's daughter used to go here. I remember. Yes. But they had an outstanding program. Art, languages, and most importantly... <laughs> Science? Naturally. I bet you can still find a portrait of Lomonosov or Newton hanging up there. Cute. But that's not all they taught us at this school, is it? What are you getting at? Propaganda yeah, speeches, military drills, preparing little kids for World War III. What do you do when the evil capitalists drop an atomic bomb on your house, duck and cover? No. You put on your gas mask and marching boots, grab a rifle and rush the enemy. You kill it. Yeah. You crush it. You annihilate it. Even yeah. when you die, you're not free. So when the party commands it, you rise up from the dead to fight it again. And most yeah. of all, you keep your mouth you shut. All your life, you protect the state's secrets. Then you take them to your grave. Those were different times. The Cold War mentality and us versus them routine. 
lot has changed. It hasn't? Really? Yes, it has. We live in a new world now. Look around you. How is this new world working out for you? These children, they were raised to fight the enemy. But how do you fight an invisible enemy? You can't see it, you can't taste it, yet you can feel how it penetrates your body, corrupts you from the inside. And you, Igor, who are you fighting against? Everyone and everything that stands between me and you, Tanya. And what if you're wrong? What if the enemy is you? The enemy within. Yeah, she's got a point. Well, what are you saying? Time to move, Igor. We're done here. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Ooh, what we got here? Oh. Chemical parts. Here we go. It's very radioactive radio, radio over here. Oh, jeez. Probably not step in that area for too long. Probably a bad idea. Okay, let's see. Um, trying to find a good exit here. works. What we got going on over here? Some herb. Pick up some herb. Some herb and herb. I guess I gotta go around somehow. Around. Oh, Alright, maybe I can. Oh, here we go. This might do the trick. <coughs> yep, this does the trick. Oh, the swimming pool. swimming pool. It brings back so many memories. Tatiana Formina Amelie, youngest freestyle champion swimmer in Pripyat. You know, I sometimes think you missed your calling. It would have been best if you'd pursued a career in sport. <laughs> Give me a break. I was never going to be another Galina Prozumenshikova. I never would have won any Olympic gold medals. For me, it was always about this feeling of freedom. Crazy. Being able to float and become weightless. That was my refuge. True. Yes. You always wanted to teach our... I mean... Say it. I, I can't. Do you think you would have made a good father, Igor? I don't know. You tell me. How do you know I'm not just a voice in your head, Mara? There are things you need to figure out by yourself. I have no idea. Unfortunately, I can't help you. Okay. All right. Yes. I think I'd make a good father. I would do everything, everything, to protect our child. Everything to keep him or her from drowning. Like you kept yep. me from drowning? That's not fair. Yeah, Why? Don't, don't, don't Why are you me. doing this? Yeah, don't put I'm that not doing anything, my love. You are doing it to yourself. Come, uh, Igor. Right. We still have one more place to visit. Uh, okay. That sounds fair enough to me. Ah! Ow, that hurt a bit. That hurt quite a bit. 
quite a bit. Okay, hold on. Do I have any healing salves? Screen. What do you do with all the, you know, with all, the, all the radiation right now? That'd be great. Bathroom of sorts. Ah, here we go. Parts. And my headphones just died. Fantastic. So I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. My headphones just literally died. I, I love it how how much my my headphones don't last with their battery. I do use them a lot though, so it kind of makes sense. Alright, let's see here. Um It's really hard to tell where the hell I'm going. Okay, I'm going to go down. Down some more. Alright, let's see. And, uh... Hold on. Hold on. Am I in the, am I in the right building? Hard to tell.
tell where I'm going. Oh, here we go. That's what we're for. Okay. Remember this place? Remember this place? Well, this is... <laughs> it's our old apartment. How could I have forgotten it? Perhaps you wanted to forget. Perhaps you needed to forget, Igor. It used to be our past and future, both. But it's just an empty shell now. I wonder what happened to all our stuff. My desk, my books, your violin. Who knows? It's all gone now. Stolen, ruined, torn apart. It must have been extremely it irradiated. Okay. It would all be worthless anyway. Cool. The liquidators That's cool. probably removed it all. They had to bury it. Or perhaps some low-life smugglers took it. People are so predictable. They'll snatch up whatever they can carry if the opportunity arises. All right. I once heard a story about a guy who stole a window because... I don't care about any stupid windows, and neither do you. You're only trying to distract yourself with those pointless little antidotes. From what? From what you should have faced the minute you came back to the zone. Instead, you chose to run around like a cowboy and fight a bunch of mercenaries and unravel the secrets of Chernobylite. When it's been right here all this time, yeah. staring you in your Sounds face, good. the truth about us. It's just an empty apartment, Tanya. It's the truth. I hear nothing. <clears throat> completed. Yay! Alright, looks like we could, uh, get the hell out of here. There we go. And we go! And that completes another mission. Or, for the most part. For the most part. Happy, everybody's stable. I'm gonna go get some rest. I am. Igor, the gun I gave you has traveled all around the world with me, but it's quite yeah. old. What do you think about right, building? Me today, so. Sounds good. You need it, Igor. Right, I had the crap beat out of me today. I am beat. I'm gonna go in my room and I'm gonna go to sleep. Hopefully, that'll do me some good. Hopefully that will kind of cure me a little bit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Probably. Oh, yeah. oh, that actually worked out perfectly. Ah, yes. Good old rest. That's all I needed was rest, 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 rest. Alright. All right. Awesome. Hello? Professor Kimanook? Igor? Are you there? Answer if you can hear me, please. Hello? Yes? Who's this? The name is Oga. I live in the village in Red Forest. I've heard about you. I think we can help each other. Hey, help me, Olga. I hear that a lot lately. I'm afraid you need to be more specific. Your distrust is understandable under the circumstances, but we have the same goal. Drive NER out of the zone. <coughs> okay. Well, um... I didn't come here to conduct a guerrilla war on corporate mercenaries. Yes, I know. You're looking for someone. So am I. Please come to our village in Red Forest so we can talk in person. Be extra careful on the okay. way here, okay? The monsters, the they Forest, mostly come out at night. Blah. Mostly. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Who are you really? Some bushwhacking partisan? 
I'm Ogra. Me and my father, Matt Bay, take care of the refugees and San shells from the zone. That's all you need to know, for now. Please come to the village. This isn't just about me. You'd be doing the right thing as well. I'll make sure to stop by if I get the chance. I can't hear anything right now. think this would be a good spot to stop off for today and we're gonna save here and be right with y'all Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining me for this little chernobyl adventure i'm your host not the most iron mustache and if you'd be so kind uh you know hit the like subscribe button right down below and now don't forget the bell icon that way always notified of my videos which happily will today in the meantime i'll say to all you good upon the go wonderful gorgeous gorgeous people adios i am out of here so bye bye